Florida for now. A potential 2020 WNBA Finals preview tonight as the LA Sparks take on the Chicago Sky. With Leah Sakon tonight, the LA Sparks, same group that they rolled out a season opening win on Saturday against the Phoenix Mercury, but for Chicago, a big miss tonight. Stephanie Dolson out with an ankle injury. That's all we know. Cheyenne Parker is going to replace. It's going to be very tough for the Sky, who struggled against the Aces' size down low in their season opener. Probably for the Sky team to get off to a good start than, than maybe uh, the L.A. Sparks, who have that depth and versatility to make some changes. Ogumake wins the tip. Chelsea Gray has it. We are underway here in Bradenton for Chicago and LA's second game of the season. Parker wants in the post. One-on-one -on -one fadeaway jumper against Stevens, won't go. Rebound tapped out to Allie Quigley. Game-winning three-pointer in the final seconds against Las Vegas on Sunday. And a good job there, Sean, by LA to get back quickly, try to deny those points and quickness that Chicago's trying to create in transition. Kalia Copper right for Chicago. McGuimacay's pass taken away by Copper. All alone lays it in for her second bucket. Ten points early against Vegas. Copper ran the three. She has all seven nearly four minutes in. And how? Put up 99 points in a 23-point win. Looking for its first basket here. And they finally get it. Kind of running to the corner as an option. Off of that overload and quick. And off of a basket in the corner on that foul progresses because of the situation here in the... Brittany Sykes checks in for the Sparks. The three rattles in. Sparks adding some more bench players in. Shot off blast goes for Gabby Williams. Her six is on the front of the rim. The Shields cuts towards the basket and is fouled by a Nigwa. Brianna Taylor's name on the back, but Williams specifically with the Shields. Today, the Chicago auction jerseys have Zoom calls with donation against not only police brutality, but so many other fronts. Well, and, and I think that, you know, trying to, to pick different uh, organizations to try to help out is, is so important to these ladies. And they, they want to make fans, and that's one thing that all the teams have said so much, how much they really miss their fans and this is uh, the sky's way of really saying hey we're here with you and we're thinking about you as well on the break augustus has it lob in to enigway falling away banks it in second la trying to lock in and climb back from this deficit three on the way that's good again gifted to a teammate instead it's sykes who comes away with it Weiss pull up in transition to Strong. Parker for the rebound and puts it in plus the foul. Yeah, early on here uh, in the wobble about, you know, making a stick team and coming back. And she has uh, she has a mission that she has in hand, just like Simone Augustus. It, it wants to uh, really make a statement in her new home here in L.A. for this team. And uh, that was a statement play right there by Candace. Another forced turnover by the Sparks. Sykes kicks it out to TRP. Now up for Augustus for three. That's good. It's quarter. Simone Augustus on cue. She was six for six in game one. Now one for one here in game two. Again, coming off the bench, playing the four for Derek Fisher and pulling down the rebound there. The point forward, Parker. Between the legs, backing down. Now over to Sykes on the block. Follow away jumper is good. Much needed energy off the bench. Brittany Sykes with five big minutes. Grabs her second basket. And Chicago wants a this Long pass. Parker can't get the shot off. And that ends a wild first 10 minutes of play. LA starting one for 10 from the field, but starting to find its rhythm going into the second. Bradenton. It's been Copper who's taken over the scoring duties for this team. Pull up jumper is short. Parker saves the rebound out underneath to Simone Augustus. Lob inside, Neko Gwumake. The Sparks are back, Leah. Sean, you know, Coach Fisher had talked uh, early 
uh, before in the preseason about wanting to stretch the floor and getting the right pieces and really just just every time the sparks get close. There's a Gwumake running the floor. Tree technology available right? at their disposal. Quick trigger three, no good. James Wade wants the foul. Instead, it's a fast break three on one. Right How to Ogumake for a third layup of the court. Now the elbow making contact above the shoulders. And now the Sparks, who once trailed by 13, looking for the lead, and they get it again inside. Again, that comes from your, you know, two veterans who've uh, played with each other on different teams, different USA basketball teams, knowing where... She'll play off run because they're missing not only Dolson tonight, the defense trying to be stretched out here on the sky and a nice job and it just didn't happen to to fall through but a good look by chelsea gray as she kind of worked off that screen out try to create her open shot off of the screen vanderfloot right around it struggled with her shot now though the sparks have put the clamps on her early in the first half vanderfloot with her second basket to extend the lead to four Raquana Williams cuts it to two. It seems that when they've been at their best, they're going towards the rim. Yeah, they looked stagnant uh, on that play there, and uh, no one was moving towards the back. Six. After LA took the lead, Chicago finding a second wind here midway through the second quarter. And now the clear out for Gray on the shields. Pulls up and draws the foul. That structure and, and making sure that your success that they are going to have. And it's been wonderful for Layla to be, they don't have to worry about where their child is right now. She's she's right with her in, in the wobble and being able to experience this. And I, you know that the other players appreciate it too because uh, there's nothing like having a youngster around to have that. The Shields with a crafty reverse layup. Even after the free throws by Gray, LA still finds itself in a hole here. You know, Coach one on one of the post, Agumake. The game probably it was probably for the first what five or six minutes, Sean, and then she came in. She's been extremely effective. Uh, you know, he's going to manage her minutes as well, especially with that knee and with the shortness on the team. Gets the rebound with 2:20 to play here in the second quarter. Chicago been in front for all but a matter of seconds. Backdoor pass to Vandersloot. Sykes nearly takes it away. Yeah, nice job by the Sparks there to deny the baseline on Vandersloot, not be able to cut back around and make that pass. Sykes up ahead, one on one against Williams, lays it in. Inside, Cheyenne Parker draws the block. As it, and uh, what she did there right in the open floor. And for LA and the moves they made in the offseason, bringing in Simone Augustus, winning multiple championships in Minnesota, mm -hmm. and even a player like Sykes, who gets another winning mentality, and that's something Sykes accomplished in her college career. Mm -hmm. And even though on an Atlanta Dream Team last year, they only won eight games, they were in LA. Sykes, the fourth year vet, going one on one, and it rims out. Copper inside out, dribble move. Gets her pocket picked by Augustus. You know, that's where things get dangerous. You don't want to be playing this, you know, one on one, set up yourself for this going under a minute here. You know, Chicago's at its best when they move the basketball, and Vandersloot is making those passes to try to find an open teammate with under uh, 45 seconds to go. Clock started rolling before Chelsea Gray picked it. <laughs> uh, into a potential top eight team this year in New York. is always going to be fun to watch, especially in this first go around, as we get to learn their seven rookies that they have on their squad. Augustus floats the pass inside to Parker. Andersloot trying to help. Sykes battling for the offensive rebound, but Copper muscles inside. Nearly loses her footing as Sykes tried to keep her up. Going in the right direction. Another open three, and at the sixth one of the half of the sky. It's a four-point advantage. And Gabby Williams now three for three, leading all scores with 11. 
Gray has it with three, tries to answer, can't do it, and that's the end of the first half of play. You know, settling for that outside jumper, that's not, that's not where they're going to take over this game. They have the pieces to go inside. They have to continue to go inside. But find balance on both sides of the court coming inside. Look at this backdoor cut. Forcing that play baseline. You saw a little hedge defense there, and then quickly trying to answer it here at the opposite end of the court. Good offensive board. Sky keeping it alive. Out to Vandersloot for, a, for Chicago. Going deep. To extend the lead. And a tip pass. Parker up ahead. Here's Copper. He's at its best when these stars on the floor share the basketball and make that extra pass and move to the ball. They start going one on one on the isolation or settling for those threes. That's where they have trouble. thinks about the shot fake. Guard going Trying. against the Gwumake. Parker out to Copper. Open and nails another jump around. Here comes Chicago, a team that loves to push the pace. Stevens inside to Parker. Going up against Candice. Good transition defense by the Sparks. Copper with 11 makes it 13. Another crafty finish. This veteran lineup will. They're seeing a little bit of a page taken out of their victory over. Uh, Side down on them. Vandersloot fouled and shoots two. Ball inside uh, and really get some solid and on the right side of the hoop uh, of the paint in that first or second quarter of this game. But they haven't been able to do that consistently. And so Side and resets with Quigley. Sparks have four points in six minutes in the third. Vandersloot couldn't decide it first on the night, and the lead continues to grow. Gray knocks down the free throw. Stops here. Uh, and Sparks, there's one. They're knocking away the entry exactly. pass. String some buckets together, get their confidence back on the floor. This is that one to start the momentum turn. These teams playing without fans. And there's a cop and there's, one back for you, right? Before it can even begin. Parker tries the three. Misses everything. But a perfect pass to Chelsea Gray, who now gets for LA. Quigley. Loader goes. Nine points in game one in the wobble Saturday. Being limited to just 46 against the short-handed Chicago roster. Quickly right around the defense, pulls up and hits the mid-range shot. Go. He's confident in getting there and the tip in the movement now the opposite way. Quickly into the corner. The shield lines it up and hits another one. It's now a 20-point lead. Gray over to Sydney Weiss, and she knocks down the triple. Who will be the unlikely suspect to lift this LA team right now? Kristen Inigwe, back up center. Fights for the rebound and now up ahead. LA trying to move quickly with less than 90 seconds to play here in the third. I'm right in, 11 points. Three players right now uh, for Chicago with 11. And then Copper with 13 on the game to lead the Chicago Sky. Gabby Williams, three for three. Can't make it four for four from deep. And if you remember, it was Gabby Williams, Sean, who came off the bench early and uh, gave Chicago. People are excited about this Chicago team is not only two players of 16 former Connecticut Huskies that are in the WNBA. And uh, what a weekend they had uh, in the start of the season. Stevens drives baseline. 
her pass stolen by Parker. Raquana Williams full head of steam to the baskets. And gets the roll off the rim. Vandersloot, the leader, and assists in the WNBA for each of the past three years. Pass to Stevens, taken away in the post. Parker calls for Weiss to take it with 10. Off the Inigwe screen, Weiss pulls up and hits it. Final three seconds, Quigley wants it from half court. When they blow their whistle, instead of saliva potentially spewing out, it, it, it covers the whistle, but sometimes, Sean, it also makes the whistle have a, a funny sound. Couldn't chip away at the deficit on that possession. <laughs> Copper had a step on Raquana Williams. Yeah, that, and much, uh, much in fact, in fact of what's going on down in the low post and trying to go to their uh, second and third options on the play. Is and already, Leah, they in the fourth quarter, and they're oh. shooting free throws for the right. final five, six minutes. Um, you know, is fatigue starting to set in a little bit for the, the sky? Are they going to be able to, to plunge through? I think the next making a statement there and denying it, but I, I... On a little run, it's Kalia Copper or somebody else from the... Still an 11-point advantage. Time running out for the Sparks and a turnover by Parker. Four on two, the pass to Copper and hangs in the air. ...in the opener. One of the players, James Wade, said needs to take a step up this year. Boy, she answered the bell with Diamond to Shields' knee injury, keeping her limited. Pass inside. Shine seven miles a day just to get the car. Strength and conditioning coach. She sent everyone, player for the sky, to make sure they're keeping up with their diet, keeping up with the workout plan. And you could tell Copper was committed because she is really going off in these first couple games. Looks looks real good, and you know you've got over 450 acres on the IMG campus uh, to work around, so that leave outside the wall. Uh, but they're really utilizing everything there that IMG has to uh, stay fit, keep their minds clear. Uh, we have so many of them talking about the importance of uh, meditation and yoga, uh, just anything that they can do to. Keep focused at hand and uh, understand uh, the big prize at the end of this marathon as we head down the stretch towards the end of September. Another basket made by Chicago inside. He's trying to pressure the ball here a little bit. Just, you know, just try to slow things up and, and, and the quickness that Chicago wants to try to run in the game. That's inside to Parker. Third legs from Los Angeles out there. Just seems like they've been a step slow to a lot of those spots in Chicago a little quicker. Williams pulls up and puts it in. All points. Forty foot shot in the second round of a single elimination playoff game. Looking stronger than ever. The tough schedule to start this season. Well, Sean, and, and you talked about it a little bit earlier how Coach Lambeer had uh, mentioned that, you know, in those through eight, and it's really a coin toss, uh, getting the right matchup in that five through eight matchup with that one game playoff. Anything can happen. And boy, it's, a, it's an ugly taste for the team that's at the other end of a, you know, one game playoff. Back-to-back -back threes on the floor, still 15-point Chicago advantage. Nice cut, and the finish by Stevens. All five starters for Chicago in double figures. And Gabby Williams off the bench to make it six. The balanced attack is working to perfection. Gray inside the arc. Loot to the outside. Stevens tries another one. Stevens, the pickup in the offseason, contributing with 16 points and six boards. Strong pass inside. Agumake foul. Anderson for coming down the paint with some help defense. Stevens with 16 points now. Three for six from three point land percent from behind the arc. 
officials stop play. Yeah. Two separate le they might be two separate leagues, but they're not. They're brothers and sisters, and uh, I think early on here, especially with the one and a half million dollars, hoping others will contribute as well to help pay for those that are struggling financially, still working to get bigger contracts, but also those opting out, those dealing with some other issues. Like you were saying, it's one thing. There's a lot of these players, uh, WNBA players, lean on uh, many of the NBA guys as far as picking with them. We, we hear that quite frequently and, and they get involved with each other, uh, you know, as far as trying to understand the game at this next level. And Vandersloot taking one. Sold it a little. We're not gonna get away with that much contact if you're not set. Copper crossover taken away. Still gets it out. Stevens lines up another one and puts it in. Three of the game and ties Copper with a game high 19. Sykes responds. Parker on top gives it to the Shields. Blocking foul called against here. This type of impact. Trading. An all-star in Diamond to Shields and others. There's no wonder why four ESPN writers out of nine picked the sky to make the finals. Yeah. Can we think about it? From Chicago's second win this year. Sykes, who's had a strong performance for the Sparks, looking to add to her 13 points. Three goes down for the Sparks. Quana Williams, who struggled in that first game, starting to come alive, hitting a couple of threes and shooting 50% on the night. Sykes swords for the board, and now on the break. Williams wants it again. Drives inside, and the soft touch to put in, and oh, seeing a little bit of everything too. now. Yeah. And Nigwe blocked <laughs> by Stevens. Chicago still wants to run up by 21. Copper gets contact, but not the foul. Reiterate the point about Chicago. Nation, obviously James Wade loves his core seven, but do you think I have six games? Well, and, and I think a lot of it has to do with personnel on the floor and Coach Wade uh, in his press conference following um, Sunday's game. Uh, you know, he said, you know, it's just we, we're fine. She's coming along fine. There isn't anything, uh, anything with that. But, you know, we just have to pick and choose our spots now to put her in the right spot right limelight but you heard the horn go off but nice job in playing through on that play for the bucket of the sky uh, does lead the oh and the turnaround of the schedule they be able to 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 rebound and play that next like how this plays out with the top eight uh towards the playoffs sykes making sure she took those free throws out of the la timeout the Shields. Williams pulls up. Chicago can dribble out the clock. Well, not if TRP has anything to say about <laughs> it. He's blessed with size and strength. And the fact that Chicago first quarter the way that Chicago came out of the block played with confidence they played with confidence the entire game it really didn't matter who coach Wade had put into the ball game just really impressive effort by the Chicago sky tonight taking out the LA Sparks and and really finding some solid balance seven players with nine plus points